All right, okay, turns out I have a little bit of time, time left here. Um, this is where we're at here. Let's, let's, let's do elimination or substitution, whatever easier. Uh, elimination, I find to be easier. I'm going to try that out. I know that the, I, the LCM of 30 and 8 is some big number. I don't want to touch it. 12 and 5, though, I know that the LCM is 60. Okay? So what I can do is multiply this bottom equation by 5, the entire equation by 5, to make this a 60. I want to make this a 60 as well, so I'm going to times the entire equation by 12. Okay? Here is what our new numbers are going to be. I've got to look off my paper for this to be uh, fast and efficient. 96x plus, oops, 96x plus 60y equals 20400, and I'm going to leave that equal sign there. And 150x plus 60y equals 2850. Zero. Okay. That's where we are right now. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, well, I'm going to subtract one from the other. Uh, I'm going to just reverse the order of these so that it's easier to subtract. Okay. All I did was just put one above the other now. Now when I subtract, here's what I get. 54x, nothing there equals 8100. I divide by 54, and my x equals 150. Okay. What does this mean? Well, oh, and I erased the original equation. Hang on a second. 8x plus 5y equals 1700. Okay. I have an x. This is an original equation. I'm going to drop that in there. Okay. 8 times 150 equals that. It turns out that that's 1,200 plus 5y equals 1,700. So 5y equals 500. y equals 100. So when x equals 150, y equals 100. We're just dealing with big numbers. It's the only thing that's different here. So here's our point, uh, 150 and 100. Okay, is that our... Is that our what does it tell us? What does it tell us? It tells us that we have two functions here. We have two equations, right? We were given two equations at the beginning in the last video. Okay? There's some kind of point here, right there, where this is all prof. Oh, this is the economic. This is college here. This is the profit uh, here, and everything back here that's behind the line here will be less. Uh, could be lost, okay? But I don't want to. I don't want to commit to that. We'll get into that later here. What we're dealing with here, bottom line, is that the maximum efficiency. Wow! See what happens when I'm out of pressure. I'm just flipping out here. Maximum efficiency is is 150 shirts of X. Uh, what did I say? I said deluxe was X. I used D, D and D and standard as my X and Y. Okay. So uh, x we used was, was really d, okay, don't be alarmed, I just used s and d and I changed it to x and y, okay. So if our x is, our x is d, it was 150, and our y, which I said was our deluxe and standard, okay. Our y, which is our s value, would be 100, okay? Holy moly, if I totally screwed you up there, how much time do I have left here? I've got like five seconds, okay. Um, at the very beginning, the last video, I said I was using a, a, as D and S, as, and I changed that to an X and a Y just for simplicity, but now I'm just changing it back. I, uh, I ended up, I ended up with, a, with an X and a Y value, I'm just going to change it back to what they were, D and S, so that we remember what we actually dealing with. So uh, our maximum efficiency is uh, 150 deluxe shirts and 100 uh, standard shirts. That'll give us our maximum efficiency under uh, our budget constraints. Whew, okay. Send me an email if you just want to string, uh, strangle my neck. <laughs>